So today we are making another delicious potato dish that promises to be one of the most flavorsome ones we've ever done here on the show. We're talking lemon pepper skillet potatoes. Now the beauty of this dish is the way the potatoes are cooked, which is very typical from the region of Catalonia in northeastern Spain. First you lightly fry the potatoes in olive oil, which gives them such a beautiful flavor. And then you finish them off in some broth, which gives the potatoes the most incredible mouthwatering texture, folks. This recipe is very easy to make. It's made with simple everyday ingredients and it comes together in just 30 minutes. Let's begin by grabbing a large fry pan, heating it with a medium heat, and adding in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 60 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna scrub clean two medium-sized potatoes and then pat them completely dry. Now to make this recipe, I like to leave the skins on the potato as it adds a beautiful rustic flavor, but if you prefer, you can peel the potatoes. Once the potatoes are ready, I'm gonna cut them into slices that are a quarter inch thick, which is a little over half a centimeter. The secret here, make sure they're all the same thickness, that way they all evenly cook. All right, let's move back to the pan with the olive oil. It's been heating for about four minutes on a medium heat and that oil should be nice and hot. I'm gonna start adding the slices of potato into the pan and you wanna make sure they're all in a single layer. So cook this in batches. With the two potatoes we're using, we should get this done in exactly two batches. After about three minutes, I'm gonna flip the slices of potato to fry the other side. We're not looking to fully cook these potatoes, just give them a light golden fry, which is gonna give them some structure. That way later on in the recipe when we boil the potatoes, they don't get mushy and they won't fall apart. After about six minutes, that's three minutes per side, and the potatoes have a light golden fried color on both sides, I'm gonna start removing them from the pan and transferring them into a dish. And continue to cook your second batch of potatoes in the exact same method. In the meantime, I'm gonna finely dice half of an onion, and roughly chop four cloves of garlic. Once all the potatoes have been fried and removed from the pan, let's start cooking the onion and garlic. Using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in the diced onion and the chopped garlic. And start mixing them around with the olive oil. I always like to mix this continuously, that way everything evenly sautés. After about three minutes and the onion is nice and translucent and the garlic lightly sauteed, you don't want to brown these ingredients too much. I'm going to start adding the slices of fried potato back into the pan. At this point, they don't have to be in a single layer, so you can just stack them around each other. Once all the potatoes have been added, I'm gonna add in some vegetable broth into the pan, just enough to barely cover the potatoes, which is two cups in my case, or 473 milliliters. The broth that I'm using is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the iCard above. And we'll turn up the fire from a medium heat to a high heat. And we're gonna simmer this on a high heat between 14 to 16 minutes, or until the majority of that broth has been absorbed by the potatoes. and you wanna give the pan a quick mix once in a while, that way that garlic and onion can be evenly mixed with the potatoes. After about 15 minutes, and you can see the majority of that broth has been absorbed by the potatoes, and there's just a little bit left, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat, And you know, you can always tell when your potatoes are done, you just pierce them with a toothpick, and if it easily goes in, they are ready to go. For the next step, let's add some flavor into our dish. I'm gonna season the potatoes with some sea salt, finely grate in some lemon zest. I'm gonna add in the zest of half of a lemon, and make sure not to add any of the white pith, as it adds a bitter flavor. We'll add in a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper, 
and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped parsley. Our lemon pepper skillet potatoes are done. You saw this so easy to make, and let me tell you, the aromas are mind-blowing good, but the beauty of this dish is gonna be the texture of those potatoes. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. All right, folks, here we go. It is so good. The potatoes are beautifully cooked. They kept their shape, but they just melt in your mouth. And as for the flavors that lemon says, with the black pepper, the garlic, and the onion chili, an explosion of so many great flavors. You saw this very easy to make, simple everyday ingredients, and like I told you to be in truly one of the most flavors and potato dishes we have ever done here on the show. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Robert Jefferson, AKA the Kamakura Gardener, Jesper Haloum, Jim Owens, and Joan Calico. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one as it really helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do, smash the subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.